Okay, here we go again with another question that's going to help you determine uh, if you should purchase in a condominium association here in Massachusetts. And that question is, how many units um, are delinquent on paying their condo fees? Now, this might sound like a you know, crazy question to ask. Is it even you know, public information? And the answer is, it's critical for you to get a mortgage, uh, if you're getting a mortgage to purchase in the condominium, that that number is less than 15% delinquent, okay? Um, and how is delinquency defined, right? It might be different um, for each condominium association. Some associations might consider something delinquent if it's one day late, 15 days late, 30 days late. Um, the bank that you're using to get your loan will have their own standard regarding what is delinquency. So make sure that when you get this question answered, it is along the lines of what the bank is looking for uh, in terms of what they consider late. Okay. Um, another reason why this is important is because if more than 15% of the unit owners are delinquent on their condo fees, now the condo association may be getting starved for funds to maintain the property. See what I'm saying? So if people aren't paying their condo fees, it's difficult to maintain the property to a level that is needed. Um, and certainly you may not want to live in a place that is not having um, the right you know, care and the right type of revenues being generated to, to, to care for the complex. So uh, definitely ask that question, how many unit owners are delinquent on their condo fees? Okay, see you on the next question.